Okay, so I have a story to share with everybody. I'm gonna make this as short as possible. Don't hold me to it though, but let's try. I am driving in my neighborhood. There is a man at the stop sign on the street that I'm turning onto. I get a little bit too close to his minivan and he gets upset. He gives me the look, he's all like up in arms. You know how they give you that look and they like respond and that's usually I'm the one doing it but. So he gives me the look and I hold a grudge against this guy for pretty much the next year. The thing of it is, is that he lives just about six or seven houses down from me. I see him all the time and it's horrible because every time I drive by his house, I remember the stop sign. I remember the look. I remember the up in arms. That's just where it is and I'm gonna leave that right there. That's part number one. So part number two. So there's this lady in my neighborhood that I've been seeing for the past month or so, riding along on a lawnmower. You know, just cruising down the street, up and down the street on her lawnmower. And then I'm kind of seeing her also wandering around and um, kind of just a hot mess. Just, she, she was a mess. Come to find out, she is a really, really nice lady who is just going through a lot of stuff in her life. She doesn't have work. She doesn't have a lot of support. She doesn't have money, obviously. And so she's going from house to house mowing people's lawns for like $30 in the middle of Florida in August, humidity like 490%, it's hard work. Part number three. So my husband and I are driving home from, I don't know, church, from an outreach, from prayer for like six hours. I'm just kidding, we were probably like at McDonald's. We were driving home and we see this house that has grass that is like up to my head and it's like a jungle okay it was like to my knees but you know it just it was a lot of grass it had never been like that before and we figured that something was going on in that person's family something that was preventing them from being able to mow their lawn but we weren't sure uh, and so we thought well what about this new lady that we just met how about she mows the lawn that way we're helping her she's helping this person and she's like absolutely I can mow his lawn and then I discover that it's minivan man's house yeah it's minivan man's house so so there you have it I was like do I still mow the lawn because he gave me like the whole arms and the look and stuff like that and I couldn't believe those are the kinds of things that I was thinking and the more I heard my friend talking the more I learned about this man and and I discovered that his wife actually just died two months ago and he has no motivation to do pretty much anything in his life and he's got two teenage daughters who I see outside all the time in the driveway and I had no idea Idea that he was going through all of these hardships and battling this horrible situation in his life and so we're like yes definitely absolutely mow his lawn trim his trees paint his house whatever you need to do I'm just kidding we only had like $50 so but we need to be reminded that people are fighting battles we need to stop long enough to get out of our own life our own head our own emotions our own busyness and to step into the people's lives that are around us. And this is the thing, the people that you're connecting with, the people that you're seeing on a regular basis that are kind of crossing your path, maybe it's the cashier at where you grocery shop, maybe it's somebody at the library. Do people go to the library still? Wherever it is, there are people who need the gifts that God's put inside of you. Because he wouldn't have given you the gifts and he wouldn't have connected those people to you if he didn't want you to reach into their lives. Ask yourself, what can I do? What little thing can I do? Because God's given you that opportunity that is not gonna be here forever. So take that opportunity, use the gifts that God's given you and go out and make a difference. You never know what people are battling, what people are struggling with. God's got your back and he's gonna enable you to do whatever it is that he's called you to do. So go out and make a difference and I'll see you next time.